Hey guys, Jen here. I am working on my last batch of soap for today. And this one is Japanese Tray Blossom. I'm getting ready to mix up my lye water. And I actually just realized that I do not have my fragrance mixed up. So let me get that done as well. So here's my lye water. And I'm going to, this needs washing. It has just a little bit of titanium dioxide in it. So I'm going to use it. It's not going to hurt a thing. That way I don't dirty up more dishes. Like when, so yeah, like you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of titanium dioxide on this. Uh, when I mix up my titanium dioxide for the day before I pour it in here, uh, I mix it up in one of those little containers and get it mixed up really, really well and then pour it into my spout because it's just too difficult to try to get powder down in there and then I have a funnel and it's just way easier for me to mix it in that little thing that I use for my fragrances and then pour it in there. So, Japanese cherry blossom is pink and purple and white is how I do this soap. Ooh. Oh, goodness, I thought that had something in it, and I give myself a mini heart attack. All right, so I'm turning this so I can hit this cocoa butter easily. Cocoa butter, you know, you guys know, it's like the hardest Thing to get melted so I try to hit it as I go now if I'm using the little wafers that we have on the website they're so they are so much easier guys but um, I have a box of cocoa butter um, just a big box that I need to get used up before I use the wafers but the wafers are so much easier and cost-wise, they're really not that much more expensive. Not really, especially with the time that you save. Ugh, anyways, I'm gonna speed this along. liquid oils mixed up. Let's get this poured in. I'm actually going to use this pitcher when I go to do my colors. One less dish I have to wash. I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir. stick blend. Now we're going to pour out our two colors. Pink and purple. And then white. I've slowly been putting things away as I do this last batch. Hey look, my magic purple's out, so I guess 
We're going to use amethyst, and I am almost out of amethyst, but I have enough for this soap. That's like a purpley blue, which is fine. some lilac in here to lighten this up. We'll see how that looks. All right, fragrance time. Get this scraped down some. Great. Let's go to our pink. On to purple. Alright, that turned out really nice. Now we'll get our mold out here. Then I'm going to go back in with a chop stick. Get the rest of this poured in. There's that, all done. And I'm gonna get this scraped in, and then I'm gonna smack her down.
Alright, almost. Last one. Let's give this a little smack. Shake you guys up. Swirl it. And call it a day. Bring you back for the cutting. Hey guys, we are back to cut a Japanese cherry blossom. Let me show you the top. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, them colors are beautiful. I like how the swirl turned out in this one. Very nice. Last cut here. Well, I'll cut a sliver off of the end of this next bar. Just like so. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.